Hey fellow van builders, it's Scott. Welcome back to Van Dingo. Today is shower pan day. The stainless steel Killarney custom made shower pan. Remember I got this dual slider uh, sprinter van and it requires a little bit of gyrations in order to get a shower pan in appropriately. So had one custom made. It is palatial uh, and as we sit here today, uh, this afternoon, it's in and I'm going to show you the process on how uh, I went about uh, cutting a hole and getting it placed. So here we go. All right, folks, tools of the trade. So you've got your hole dozer to cut through the floor of the van, your trusty DeWalt 20 volt max drill. For me, I use this Dremel and I used um, like a carbide tip bit that allowed me to widen the hole slightly, which was important. This uh, half moon uh, that's great for holes. This is just a, a file, uh, and I use this deburring tool, which is new, um, that I got a tip on that, and certainly some safety glasses. And then anytime you're doing work where you got metal shavings, this sucker needs to be used all the time uh, so you can get those metal shavings up. All right, guys, remember this template? This is the template I constructed. Um, and underneath, voila, you got the stainless steel shower pan. So I've already marked the hole uh, right down in there, giving myself um, a little bit of room when that's fully secure down in there for the wall. And then my plan is once I get this uh, in, is to uh, use some Cicaflex or something of that type to secure it down to the floor. Uh, so that'll be part of this process as well. All right, another sweltering day in North Dallas. Okay, my friends, so uh, I got this uh, really sort of goofy two slider situation. So a custom build, uh, custom shower pan, stainless steel shower pan build. And I'm just lining up, so I got a notch here. I have a piece of half inch back here that'll need to be built out, right? And then another piece of wood on here so that when I, when I do the final seam connect and caulking here, there'll be an overlap across here. But one of the things I'm just doing now is lining up with this notch and then assuring before I cut, because it's always nerve wracking to cut sheet metal my original hole uh, was a little bit too far that way. And so I'm amending it. Now, before I get the, the great hole dozer out and make the cut, so. All right, here's your two and a half inch Milwaukee dozer bit. And of course, the trusty DeWalt uh, electric drill. This is gonna be Sparks flying and metal flying, I'm sure. So I built a little bit of a, a moat here. Wow. All right. Well, my little uh, metal shaving moat here got a lot of shavings inside that look good but i got a lot sprayed out into here so going to get the vacuum all right let's get the metal shaving moat up off of here See what we're dealing with. Yeah, definitely got some more. We're gonna vacuum up. All right, and a new tool to me is this deburring tool. Uh, Steph and Nate Explorers Life really recommend this, so I picked this up. This was under twenty dollars from. Uh, you know, the great and powerful Amazon. So.
Looks like I'm gonna have to get a, a round file too. Seemed like it took some chunks off. I gotta still figure out how to use that. This trusty sort of half half moon round file has helped on every hole I've done. So. If I was a little bit nervous, make sure this hole is big enough. Look at that. Right on. That's great. I may need to take a little material off the hole to go that way just to make sure my half inch can get behind there. So let me check that real quick. Yeah, I was just thinking I could go smaller than half inch if necessary. And that wouldn't be a bad thing. Alright. So we're in and this is pretty straight up and down. I need to go that this way. So I'm going to grind some off this way. Because... I'd like to be able to get a solid piece of half inch back there. I found a method here to move this hole slightly this way. And it's a Dremel with, um, I don't know, some sort of metal uh, composite. Some, this, this bit allows you to chew into metal because it's working. I'll show you. sucker can really help smooth out metal that's for sure we got to re-vacuum this baby Let's see if I move this hole a little bit it looks like I have yeah and then when you put pressure on it here it moves even further away because putting pressure on something that needs to be pushed down and sort of bent to the floor of the of the van so I'm gonna have to put some heavy weights on this 
as it sits here. Um, so that gets me started. So I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna put primer around that because everywhere you, where you cut metal in the van, you absolutely need to put primer. So we're gonna do that and then take my cap here and screw it up underneath. I won't um, seal it up just yet on the outside because I'm probably gonna end up fiddling with this. Um, so I won't seal it up on the outside and I'm not gonna seek a flex it down to the uh, van floor uh, until I get this fully um, where I want it to be in the back. So I think I'm in good shape at this point. That's what's funky about having a dual slider is you gotta contend with that. And I bought such a big pan I'm gonna have my hands full in putting uh, putting sort of that corner piece in and then the walls in for sure. But that's good. So now this is gonna allow me to put all the, the joists, as it were, across here and can butt up against uh, the shower pan now. Dude, I almost forgot to spray primer on this thing. Man, I don't wanna do that. Not good. side hate the iPhone no shoo So here's a look coming down through the van floor. That's that uh, shower drain that was welded on. And then from there, I'm gonna have a gray water line that I need to move around all the way back and migrate to that, um, I think it's 21 gallon gray water tank that sits directly behind that shirt cow chlorifier, the hot water, uh, hot water tank that I put in. And then this is simply from Home Depot. Try to limit the amount of, uh, eliminate the amount of critters that are gonna come in there until this part of the plumbing project's done. There we go. Hey, listen, for those of you who are like, hey, that is a giant pan. How big is it? It's 36 by 28 width it's enormous um the vision is is that this back piece right here or front piece uh some of it may be closed up because i want to have the nature's head toilet roll in on 80 20 or uh, some sort of uh drawer drawer rollers that go into the shower and come out when not needed i've seen some of those <clears throat> on Instagram and Pinterest and some other areas, and I think they're really cool. Not sure I can pull it off, but I'm gonna give it a try. Hey guys, thanks for hanging with me. It is hotter than the surface of the sun. Hotter than Mordor. Uh, but anyway, got her done. You can see that pan is, is in, cut in. It's a quick video here today, but wanted to show you uh, the process that I use to put this together, and uh, hopefully you learned something from it. Uh, hope you liked what you saw here. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like, uh, thumbs up on the video, and we'll bring more to you soon. Be good. Bye-bye.